Step eight. So this is where we're going to be doing some belts. And we have this belt for the x-axis, which moves the extruder. So when you run a belt, you want to make sure you run this the correct way. And I noticed some people may know this, some people may not know this, but belts have teeth. You want to make sure these teeth actually fit on the gear. And they're showing you how to route the belt. So what's really cool about this type of 3D printer are the rails. The belts fit in the rails of the 3D printer. So it kind of saves some space instead of having them all over the place. They should fit in there pretty good. And I'm going to try to get these in there as best as I can under these rollers. Let's see. It kind of just rolled over it, but make sure you don't smash your fingers here. There we go. So you want to run it along this rail and you want to fit it through. And I'll show you here. You want to come this way and loop it around that motor. Come on the bottom side. I'm going to have it there a little bit. And I'm going to come back here and flip it and show you how this goes here. So when you're finished, this belt, the smooth side should be facing out. And we're gonna pull this to the center, grab the belt, make sure it's not twisted, of course. And this is probably gonna be a little tricky. You're gonna get one side in the belt. You're gonna get one side in the belt slot here, like that. I got one side here on, in the belt slot and I'm going to pull it. Make sure it's not twisted. If it does twist on you, correct it. And so this is where it's going to be a little bit tricky because this belt needs to be tight. You know what? You know what I did? All right. So my belt is actually not fitting. You know why? Because I have this too loose. So here's the trick. We're going to come here and I believe I dropped my tool. We're gonna grab the tool that we need to loosen these bolts. This is what's really cool about this part. So you wanna take this part and loosen it and make sure that you keep the nuts in there, inside the rail. Now we can fit this belt inside of the slot, like so. See, like that. Now, what you wanna do is pull this. This is good for belt tension. So I loosen these bolts and I have my belt now that's inside mounted here and I'm pulling back on this and I'm going to pu push them out as much as I can while I tighten. That's going to keep your belt tight. So there we go. So that should pretty much do that for that belt on that axis. You see there it goes. You want to make sure there's no slack. You can't really over tighten this too much but you want to make sure this is really tight and not loose and floppy. 